Hi, welcome. In this video, we're going to make our theme better. Last time, last video, we did this Super F12. And we have to be in the virtual machine, Eric, Super F12. And we started uh, Alex Appearance, so this one. We have then chosen for a new theme and also a new icon theme. So a theme and an icon theme. You have here colors you can choose. That's a theme and the icons. Now, what if, what if you would say, go ahead, Eric, keep changing. So everything, we want everything pink, um, even though maybe you say, hey, don't like it. So, well, basically don't like it either. So what do you do? Super 12. Alex appearance, I'm gonna change just the icons. The rest is okay, that's arc for only dark. Would like to see another icon theme. And there is other icon themes. Or there is one that's called, why well, not that one? Flexible, okay, apply. We have to close this one because it's only applied. But if you reload, then there it is. Cleaning up my trash here. How about this icon theme? Maybe you like, don't like it either. But that's uh, what we're used. So what if we want to make a theme which is now blue, a little bit uh, not not so nice. That's okay. The blue will still goes. But my vision of Conkeys in Tiling Manager is kill all Conky. We don't need it. We don't need a Conky to tell which shortcuts there are. There is Super S. Take a look. That's it. We're an awesome. We don't need Conkeys. We need this to have an idea what's going on. And if you say, hey, I need all this information about my system, okay, check out HTOP and see what you want to know. Well, so we're gonna theme. How do I proceed? How would I proceed? I would go to a different tag because this one is that one, that one, it's okay, super F2. That's gonna be our uh, way of working, an editor. I'm gonna use Atom because in Previous tutorials, I told to the system, hey guy, learn Lua. So that's why all these colors are so beautiful. So the syntax here underneath here is Lua. Great. We have a minimap and we have colors. We're gonna need color code because we want to change these blues into something pink. But before we do, let's play it safe as always. Super shift return. We have here this awesome folder, and in this awesome folder are themes. What if, wouldn't it be smart if we just made a new one? So keep off from everything that's provided and make our own. And rename it again. So instead of blue, it's going to be frolly. Enter. We have now a new theme. Of course, it's still blue. Copy paste. But let's first set it. So let's go to our RC Lua and I have spared you some time. I have already written down what you need to do. So it was first, the first one is number one, second one is number two and the third one is number three, which is just the name of a folder, power arrow dash frolly, power arrow dash frolly. No typos allowed, should be correct. And I'm telling our Lua system or RC Lua Hey Guy, take number three in, in here. So take Power Arrow Frolly. Super Shift R. Otherwise, it's not reloaded. Now we have here our Frolly theme. This is the Frolly theme. Let's go and change the wallpaper back to what it was. This one. So the pink one. All right. Came from Variety. So I'm setting it with Variety. Now we need to figure out how to change these colors and what color is actually pink. What kind of pink is that? Well, there's always one step away. There is G-Pick. Well, the, you can start it like this, like anything. So it, here it is. But, um, well, actually I should have told you something like this. Super F11 or F12 and then start G-Pick. And then you can go in, in here and find out in the gene, gene, gene generation. Oh my, can't say it anymore. Too much tutorials. 
and then you have to see here lightness or how to do it the saturation we can have a different kind of doesn't need to be the same um, color code at all as this one but similar you see here a darker light a darker light why not indeed a darker light um, yeah okay great idea so what if we can add this to our palette that's a darker one and then we take maybe a bit lighter one like so how about these two so dark light dark light dark light with on basis of these colors hmm it's an idea okay execute what if we go to the power arrow frolly we go to the theme lua we need to figure out what these colors are and we need to figure out what these colors are let's first start with this one it's kind of bluish but a lot of things are bluish here They're, these guys are all the same 889 889 it's all the same question is of course which one do i need well it's trial and error i don't know either until i try it and how do i figure this out by just saying look i'm gonna try i don't know this one i say look that's the color i know that this is a rgb red green blue what if i change this to ff red zero 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 save it's going to be red yeah, minimap or actually pigments tells us it's red what you have here super shift reload gives indeed here a red button okay we found the color to focus a focused uh, tag will be red or what did they call it they call this a tag list foreground focus fine what's in a name but we need to know another color we need to have another color and the colors were is gpix still there here it is so let's see if we can copy paste this color over to yeah, let's take the dark one two 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 which is it this one so red is out and this one is in okay save or oh nice okay let's get our wallpaper back so we can actually admire okay so each time we reload uh, it will reload actually nitrogen because in one of the previous tutorials i've uh, set nitrogen to be the one telling me what is going to happen so if i do this and i say variety is the boss again then we'll have less trouble and we'll just uh, go like this so we have the color the side of the color here it's gonna be maybe i don't know might be not a good color choice but hey it's an exercise so where are the others we can have these colors here which is nice and then we can decide hey where are these colors then we have to figure that out as well so where are these we can check it out in the theme lua the question is is it here so we try to have all the variables these are actually kind of variables what icon do you want what color do you want and all these names will be applied later on back here down here so you don't need to change colors in here everywhere except the font is here white and that's it but here we see something strange okay what's this here we see colors like the blue color that color looks like this color and it comes back and comes back all the time so it might be easier to do a replace a find and replace exercise here but this is the dark one i hope i still have my control v let's have a look yep i still have my control v so if i can do a control find with this one control find so that's the blue one and i do control v 
I replace it by the pink one. So the dark blue replaced by the dark pink. Okay, find. Okay, seems to work. Okay, replace all. Check. Done. We'll see. Save. Super Shift R. Oh yeah, we did it. It's actually not so bad. But let's keep going up. So another pink. So this pink. Yeah, let's let's try it. You can always change colors afterwards again and again and again. But we want to change this one this time. Control find with a hashtag in front Eric. And then control V. That's our new pink. Replace all. Save. Super Shift R. Oh my god. And now we go get our wallpaper. Here it is. And if you want to keep the conky, well, you have to change the blue into pink. And then you'll have a finished result, finished image. And you have here your, uh, in here you have your elements. So let's get rid of this. So that's the file manager. Here you have, oh yeah, we could have a logo that's pink as well. Why not? Every, anything is possible. So um, you could do that too. Should we? Shall we? Yeah, we shall. Shall we? We will. Okay, let's do it. Let's make that logo pink. It's so easy. So the Confi. There are logos in the Confi. We've downloaded this Confi batch um, with the simple command sudo admin minus s article linux Confi collection. So we installed this. And then it's going to install everything in your Git folder. We got it from there, copy pasted it. So in the, and sorry, in the etc scale folder, I mean, copy pasted it, but we're not going to use conkeys. But the only thing I did it in previous tutorials is to get the images. I want to have a SVG. Where is my SVG from PNG, PNG. So this is a good one. There's also a blue one. That's good. That's one is also good. So we just double click it and we have here a color that we need to tell him, say take this color. Um, don't think that was successful. Well, you know what, let's take our own color. Doesn't really matter. We have a pink one. Then we do file. We say export PNG image. Where do we want to export it? Well, let's first, first put it on our desktop. That's a proper place to do it. Um, I believe it's called neofetch.png. Let's see later. We can always change names. But that's just where you put it. You did not export it yet. So export S and export. I always tend to forget that. So this is just renaming. And, and oh, that's it. Nothing more. I did something wrong here, guys. You see. I broke the pathway, so export S on the desktop. New fetch not PNG. Okay, save and now export it. So we have a look, but I forgot about the color already. Yep, something like that. And now export. He says overwrite. I says sure. And then we go check on the desktop. This is our result, neofetch.png. Now the question I had in my mind was, hey, um, is it actually going to be uh, that name? So it's going to look in etc neofetch, it's going to look for a file and it's not called uh, neofetch, it's called arcolinux.png. So I have to rename it, no problem. F3, F2, sorry, arcolinux.png. And here it is, arcolinux.png, super. So we have the same, here is the pink one, here is the blue one. And maybe it's best thing to keep the original one. So open folder as root, get in there, say, hey, that's the backup. Watch out, don't kill the backup. And then we're gonna put the this one in there, like so, arcolinux.png. What would happen if I press Ctrl Alt T? Whoa, nothing. So 
at some point he does something and say hey why is he not loading up the Arco Linux PNG well let's have a look typos nope no typos do we need another way let's have a look if we do this application selected I'm going to try something out here now you've seen it too you can open an application as well like this so that's not the issue so we have to look out and to look I mean to investigate Arco Linux I don't see any, any typos anywhere so that's okay so next thing I'll check is maybe it needs to log off but I would be surprised if it needs to log off anyway control H that's the first thing I'll do I'll check neo fetch the configuration file and then there is this Arco Linux so it's indeed going to go for etc neo fetch Arco Linux and what do we have here uh, we have here file system etc neo fetch enter going to go for the right file basically so huh, let's try and log out very strange indeed wondering where is getting now this file from oh, let's do a restart No, I thought it was in the cache, but it's not in the cache. So it reloads again a blue version. So we'll have to go back on our, our paces and investigate. I think I found the reason why it's still blue, because it's still in the dot .cache thumbnails neofetch. There's this blue thing in here. I'm going to see if that's the reason why. Does those are previous uh, trials. So super shift and then quit this thing Control t oh yeah it's in the cache would you know so i've learned something today and in the dot cache thumbnails neofetch there is indeed a hidden thing um, so if you want to have the pink one like i just wanted to explain to you guys then you have to clean out your cache so thumbnails neofetch cache all right good fine then we have almost done we have now our uh, our wee box here with colors could make the white as also pink but that's maybe a little bit too much and then we have here uh, this these widgets are all colored and we could eventually also try to change the conky so let's take something less less light like this so let's, let's assume this assume this is our color so let's go to change this one and how do we change that super f2 is back atom and if we go to the system overview we'll see down here what colors they have it's in here but it's not responding to the colors that are not showing up for now for some reason um, I think it's color 2 that we need to change control alt V watch out no F's behind so no transparency and do not forget the hashtag and let's see what it brings so reloading everything and there you have it it's indeed pink the question is, is is it nice that's something else but technically we know how what to do and how to do it uh, we need to do next but this from time to time variety hates when it's reloaded when it was already loaded so we have to quit it and start it again but it just happens from time to time if you're in a hurry like we are in this tutorial well too late kill all variety is always something that will work so starting variety again 
because I want this, this pink thing here, voila, there it is. So this is now our look, this is what we created just by having some fun with the colors and all that, close without saving. So we have some, we had some fun here, and we have here this kind of uh, um, coloring, and we could do this to floating for instance, so we can move this around, and with right mouse click we're gonna make it a bit smaller and left mice click and super so what I'm doing here you don't see it unfortunately so when I press super and I keep pressing super left mouse click is this right mouse click is that and anywhere like so I can make it and this will be our screenshot so it's fun to have some uh, well if a wallpaper comes in and change your look of your engine, your machine, your setup. Alright, have fun using Awesome!